All right, so today we'll be looking at the water pump changing the O1 O1 here for the new one. Now, what happens is your car gets a little toasty and loses half of its water supply because there's a drain on the underside of the on the other underside of the water pump, which I'll show you once uh, we get that one out. Or Maybe I can show you on the new one. So, well, bear with me a second. So on the water pump, there's this guy here, which is the which is the release for any water. So once a bearing seal or whatever it is in there fails, it releases the water, and yeah. So. That's what happens there. But today, we're going to replace the original with this new one here. So, things lasted 40 odd years, so I think that's a pretty good run for a water pump. Anyways, um, yeah. First thing to do is we need to disconnect this fan. You can't actually disconnect with this unless you take the fan out first. So, what we do is loosen it up. You can't really turn too much, so you can't use a ratchet. It is just one of these. The whole time. You can only do about a quarter turn. Then you do the next one. switch hands if need be so you can reach this one so these are 10 millimeters for these, these guys so I don't have any one or anything to really hold the phone I'm using for the camera right now so anyways, once you sort of get one of them to finger tight, yeah, yeah. pull it forward like so, and then tilt up to bring it out. Bring forward and tilt to bring it out. Forward and tilt to bring out. Now the one underneath it will be a pain, but you see if you can reach it from the underside. There we go. Loosened it just that little bit. Oh, there it is. So yeah. There's always one nut bolt sort of thing that uh, doesn't want to come out. But the best thing about this one is that you don't really need to take it all the way out. 
as you can see it the fan is sort of coming away a little bit Alright, so that sort of finger type now, you, what you can do. That's not quite ready to come out, so it's finger tight. I'll need both hands for this. So once you undo it enough, you can slip it past that little nub that's in the center and bring it off. And you can just sit it like that up against the radiator housing if you need to. Or you can sort of bend, push this way and take it out. So yeah, I think I'll take it. All right, so now that the fan's taken out, what we're gonna do is uh, just need to Pull, pull this guy forward like so yeah but we will have to undo this bolt all the way it's a good thing it's only finger tight like so put it with the others and then you slide this forward and now your belt is loose and you can pull this one out nice and easily set it off to the side now we have access to our water pump. Now the water pump is done up with these bolts here. And I'm not sure if you'll get a socket onto them, depending on what sockets you have. But um, yeah, Bureau has probably never been taken off. And it might have gasket sealer and all that sort of stuff. So let's have a look. So yeah, this one definitely seems like it's got some gasket sealer all the way around make that look on the other side yeah alright so I think I'm going to try with a six sided socket so less chance of stripping but also um, yeah when I take it off I'm going to wind it back and forth back and forth so that way I don't uh, snap the head off or you have a stuck bolt or something like that in there so yeah all the corrosion build up from from time so you can see the uh yeah so all right let's go get a 10 millimeter socket all right so i initially just uh got them loose with the breaker bar but now so i can get a better feeling i use a quarter inch racket with a uh with a 10 millimeter six sided uh, socket. So I'm doing our first one. I've cracked all the bolts around and they're coming out surprisingly nicely. So that's a good sign that it was sealed well. So I'll definitely clean these uh, little bolts up. But, uh, yeah, one down, about four or five more to go. All right, so 
Don't be worried when you get to the uh, bottom bolts that when you undo it, the residual water would run out. This is just water, that's why I don't have a thing under there. If it was mixed with coolant, I would have a capture tray under the bottom, but it is just pure water at the moment because when it started leaking, I needed to re-top it up so I can get home, etc. and stop and start and get it home so it's like all water. Anyways, um, yeah, one more bolt to go, then I can take her off. Alright, so you look out there, I'm pulling it forward. Now, to get it out, um, the silicon sealant that was used was sort of holding it. So I put that behind there, got a few taps with a small sledgehammer, and she pulled away really easily. So, yeah, just a tip for someone in the future, with, if it gets stuck for them. So now, yeah, we pull this out and we take a look. Yeah, and it was leaking through there. So time to clean the surfaces, clean it all out and put the new one in. Let's see if I can get a good shot. There. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, do a little, probably a little acid wash, wash with that. Alright, so I've got the uh, hole out of the way. Well, oh, sorry, the hose out of the way, so we have a look in there. So we're going to clean up the front section. What I've got is just nylon brush scrubber, a little bit of degreaser, just in case, I don't know, a little bit of cleaning action. Just give it a bit of a scrub out. You know, and use the little plastic section to scrape off that silicon. You don't have to use a, um, you know, a razor blade or anything and risk scratching the surface. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll continue with this. Scratching away, getting that excess silicon off, and yeah, we'll get ready the new one ready to go in. All right, so I scraped off the uh, mating surface pretty well. So yeah, all super smooth. Now you can see that's the line where water will come up to, and then it would drain out through that relief, but also, see this little hole here? Yeah, that actually goes straight through into the uh, water section. So it can also leak out through this little one here. So, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't like using a silicon sealant if I don't have to, so the new pump came with its own proper gasket, so I'll be using that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully all is well. Alright, next bit I'm going to do is one by one clean these up with a brass wire brush. You can use a drill, um, a bench grinder, whatever with a proper brass thing. Hold it in place and clean up those bolts. Because, yeah, not liking the look of them, so let's clean them up. Uh, so, cleaned up this one a bit, and that's what they look like beforehand. So, let's get the next one. Alright, so here we are. I cleaned them up as best as I could. This one's really not the best. I think I'll have another crack at this one. But they all turned out okay, enough to be usable, at least temporarily. But I will get a new set, but I do need to use the car today, so we've got to get it done. Alright, so we got our uh, got our gasket. Now you'll see with the gasket it's got this little notch. This little notch is for this section here with the little um, tube that links the head to the block. 
So when you uh, put this in, it matches with the notch there and all the holes will line up. So what I'm going to do is put the gasket on here, sit it on the ring and put one bolt in to sort of center it and in we go. So bear with me a moment. Unfortunately, it's a two-handed job, so I've got to put this down. One day I'll get a uh, bloody, what do you call it, stand or camera or something. Um, yeah. All right, so here we are. I've got the gasket on, put one little bolt through. So now we lift. And we sort of put it in place with that first bolt going in there. Now I'm going to got to use the other hand to um, tighten it in a little bit, just a few turns, and then do the same with a couple more just to make sure it's centered and going to go in. So bear with me a moment, I need that second hand. Alright, so here we go. Uh, you can see the gasket in the middle, it moves freely and it's all in the right spot. Now, don't be surprised if one or two of them, or even more of them, are a little bit on the hard to turn, but that's probably because, you know, the bolts aren't the best um, because of corrosion on them, but I've cleaned them up as best, best I could. I will get some more. Um, yeah, so it's probably also a bit of like silicon sealant that's been pushed into the hole from a uh, previous person who's done the job, so yeah anyways i'm gonna tighten this up with a tool now and uh yeah um i'm gonna replace the bolts what i'm gonna do is go to the hardware store after i've got it all back together undo just one and uh yeah do that and be able to replace it one by one but they're all five of the same bolts so actually it's probably best if i remove one measure it and then uh, get the bolt from there. Alright so here we are, measure one of these guys. See it used to be 18 millimeters long so what I'm going to do is I'll start from for one and yeah, sorry it's not coming up, but yeah, these look to be 18 millimeters long, everybody, for future reference, and M6 in um, size. Right, now that that's on there, nice and tight. Um, yeah, next part to happen is actually to loosen the mechanism for the alternator belt. So that's done by loosening this guy, this guy, they loosen at there and there and uh, yeah there's also one just underneath the alternator you'll see if you look from underneath the car I'm not sure if it's really showing there anyway so loosen all those up because that way you need some slack in the belt so you can get this on and then tighten it up so the belt is tight again all right so the first one I'm undoing is this one one there and then the second one right. that's nice and loose that one's This one is nice and loose now to go underneath the car. Now, underneath you can see the loose belt there and this one here. It's supposed to have a nut on the rear but it's missing so I'll go to the hardware store now after I get this done and pick up a nut for that and take all these bullshit washers off. You only need one big one. So anyways, um, yeah. So you undo those three and you should be able to use the mechanism to loosen it up. So let's take a look. Alright, get that out of the way. Alright, so this guy here at the end. Let's see. 
this and that guy up. And you should slowly see the alternator move downwards, as you can sort of see. I know it only happens gradually, so it's hard to see on camera, but it is moving away from my position and closer to the engine, so that way it'll be easier for the belt to uh, go on. Alright, so now it's time to uh, get this guy in place. See, something like that. But you also need to get the holes to line up in there. So, one of the best ways to do that is to... So one of the best ways to do that is to put it there, put one of the holes top middle, One of the holes from this in top middle. I will look for a little further away and sort of ballpark it and see if you get lucky. I need two hands to do this, so bear with me. But we get one of our 10 mil and we put it in the bottom one actually because the bottom one should be lined up. You'll see why I do that in a minute. Alright, so I Pulled the belt to the front, and then I've got the bottom one and the top one on. So now it's time to sort of slip this one into place. Usually need a big giant screwdriver for that. Need two hands, like it's an extra tight fit this belt, so yeah, what you do is you grab it, probably use both hands, and lean with it like so, and it should slip on. And you can move this loo loosely, it's just moving the water pump, so there we go. So you make sure the you are uh, Take out the one that's now at the top and leave the one in that's at the bottom. Because if you pull that out ever so slightly, you can use it as a seating position for the fan. So let's get the fan in place and uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, now it's on there. That gives us a bit of a seating position for the fan. And then we can do the other three and tighten them up. So I'll grab the fan. Now you see the fan with its little thing. So we lean it forward like so. Kind of sit it on. Oh, looks like I need to undo this bolt a little bit more. so and slip it on and now get the top one in place I need two hands so bear with me a minute all right so as you can see I just got that top bolt just finger tight in there so now if you want to you can turn 90 degrees and get the next one in so just move the fan a little bit now you need to sort of put this in on an angle like like that and then lean it forward so it's perpendicular with the hole and then turn it with your fingertips to get it in and turn 90 degrees help that bottom one out a little bit turn 90 degrees Alright, so then it's 
just a matter of uh, slowly doing it bit by bit. So don't worry if the fan moves, just move to the next one. Because we need to come back and tighten them up, all four of them up anyway. So see how there's a lot more to tighten up when you get the others done? <laughs> yeah. Alright, now it's time for two hands. One to hold this, like so. And use the other hand to give these their final tighten. So bear with me, I'll be back. Alright, uh, here we are back at here, and the fan's all nice and tight with that 10mm. So now, with these guys all still loose around, we tighten this up. So he's pulling it back. Yeah, it is loose as you can see because I can do it by hand. So we do this until the belt that's coming off the alternator is super tight. So I still got a way to go. So it's starting to get tighter. That's about what we want, just not much flex, just a little bit. So, yeah. Alright, let's go uh, tighten up the rest. So, we need to tighten up this, uh, this one here. Oops, sorry, that one there. So yeah, sorry about the camera positions and having to stop and start and stuff. I just don't have anyone to help me or a proper camera or a stand or anything to put things in place. So if someone actually wants to uh, sponsor me or send me those things, that would be awesome. So here's that one. Uh, get one on this side down there. I'm blind at the moment. Ah, I see. Getting a little bit of interference there. So we'll stick that there. And where'd that other 17 millimeter hide? There it is. Use the ratcheting spanner for this one. They always have something stuck on the other side holding it, even though I think the bolt is welded into place. There we go. And then the one that's underneath, I need to get that nut for the other end, probably replace the whole bolt. But uh, yeah, 
we'll t tackle that another time. But for now, this belt's in place, alternator and everything should charge, and we shall not overheat or anything with a new water pump installed. So, sweet. All right, um, let me know if there's anything in particular people want to see done on these cars um, in terms of maintenance. So, happy to show things to people. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I know it's been a while, but yeah, life gets in the way. Also, PS for a video. <laughs> um, don't forget to re-put the tube up there. Re-put some coolant in. I've just got some water in there at the moment because I wanted to see down there if it is still dripping, which you can feel it isn't. And the water level, just make sure it stops, um, it doesn't drop. Um, yeah, and then go for a quick test drive um, around the block to see if you start leaking anything. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, I really hope this video has been helpful for someone. I think the next video I will do is how to fix this when this gets all mangled up by someone because it's likely to uh, chop the damn, um, what do you call it, the belt for the alternator. So, yeah, that'll probably be the next video.